This week across America, the power of a hug was on full display. They should be here. They shouldn't have to be here. As well as solidarity. A lot can be said by simply taking a knee. In New York, California and Washington state, violent looting was met with sympathy. Americans helped Americans pick up the pieces. And then there were those who tried to stop things from falling apart in the first place. Protesters repelled looters in Santa Monica and again in Brooklyn. At the protests in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a little water went a long way. I know you guys out here doing jobs. I'm not mad at you. In George Floyd's hometown of Houston, the police chief joined the calls for justice. We know what? We built this country. And in Flint, Michigan, a show of what can be achieved when the sheriff puts down his baton. I took my helmet off and laid the batons down. I want to make this a parade, not a protest. Meanwhile, days after George Floyd's death, 29-year-old Sean Dromgoul went for a walk in Nashville, and 75 of his neighbors had his back. My neighborhood is the best neighborhood. Dromgoul had been paralyzed with fear, too afraid to walk his neighborhood. Over the years, it had become more expensive and more white. He was worried some of his neighbors would see him and call the police. He posted online, the fear of not returning home to my family alive kept me on my front porch. His anxiety turned to astonishment, the parade of support that followed. I love y'all. I can't wait to have y'all over for tea and cake. In New York, a neighborhood hit hard by COVID-19 and heartache found joy in music. In Oakland, a different kind of protest movement. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., not far from the White House, proof we all need somebody to lean on. For today, Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News.